to distributive property made simple. The distributive property is this. A times B plus C is equal to A times B plus A times C. If that doesn't make any sense, that's okay, because it hopefully will by the end of this video. So what is 5 times 15? If someone asks you, this is going to be a little example on mental math. If someone asks you what's 5 times 15? Instead of trying to think of 5 times 15, you know ten, 15 is a combination of 10 plus 5. So really you have 5 times 10 plus 15. According to the distributive property, you distribute, in this case, the 5 in both pieces. 5 times 10 is 50. So in your head you say, okay, well 5 times 10 is 50. And you say, and 5 times 5 is 25. So and 50 plus 25 is 75. So 5 times 15 is 75. Let's try it with 9 times 12. 12 is a combination of 12 plus 2, or 10 plus 2. So someone asks you, what's, what's 9 times 12? And in your head, you're going to think, well, 12 is 10 plus 2. 9 times 10 is 90. 9 times 2 is 18. 90 plus 18 is 108. So you could quickly, with a couple processes in your head, solve that problem. Notice you distribute the 9 through both of the terms inside. 8 times 18. 18 is a combination of 10 plus 8. I'm choosing easy numbers like 10 and 10 and a lot of 10s and stuff like that. Just whatever's easy. You want to split it up into those groups. So anyway, 8 times 10 plus 18 is the same as 8 times 18. 18 is a combination of these two. So it is, it's okay to do this. So anyway, distribute the 8 through, you get 8 times 10, which is 80, and 8 times 8, which is 64. Add them together, and you get 144. Yep. All right. So that's kind of like a reverse distributive property. It's still this, except B plus C is written as 18, Whereas we're going to write it back into this form, b plus c, as 10 plus 8. That's where that came from. Let me change colors here. So b plus c, that's this part here, 12. We just break it back up to look like this. So that's 10 plus 2 with the 9 outside. And you distribute that 9 back through. On this one, 15, it's the same thing. This 15 splits into 10 and 5. So you're splitting it into B plus C. All right. So now let's try this one down here. This is going to be dealing more with algebra and symbols. But they behave just like the numbers. So first we have 3x. Well, what do we do here? We're, we're doing distributive property. So anytime you see this, you're going to distribute the 3x there and the 3x here. Well the constant in front of this x is 1. What's 3 times 1? It's 3. And what's x times x? Well that's x x or we could just write that as x squared, right? So it's 3x times x which is 3x squared. And then 3x times 2 which 2 times 3 is 6. There's no new x's or anything like that so it's just plus 6x. So smaller so 3x squared is the first term and then you add that to the second term 3x plus 2 or 3x times 2 which is 6x all right for the next one 2y times 2y well 2 times 2 is 4 y times y is y squared right Cause y times y, we could always write that as y squared, just like y times y times y, we could write as y cubed. There's three of them. And here there's two of them. So y times y is y squared. 2y times, notice here, 
the negative. 2 t 2y times negative 2. A negative times a positive is a negative, right? So it's negative 4y. 3w times 3 plus w. Just because that variable switched place, don't let it confuse you. It works the same way. What's 3w times 3? Well, 3 times 3 is 9. We only have 1w, so 9w. And what's 3w times... Oh, there we go. So what's 3w times w? Well, that 3 times 1 is 3. W times w is w squared. All right, so this is easy enough. We have some more slides. Enjoy. All right, let's do some more distributive problems. Okay. Now, don't get confused just because these are letters here. Works the same way. I'm just going to multiply or distribute through. A times B is AB. A times C is AC. Easy. So, what would we do here? Distribute C through D and E. C times D is, well, what is that? Well, it's just C times D. Plus C times E, which is CE. Do it for the next one. What do we do here? That's right, we distribute. E times F, which is EF. And notice the negative sign here. So E times negative G is negative EG. All right, negative EG. <clears throat> Here, distribute the G through the H and the I. Notice again, negative I. So G times H is GH. G times negative I is negative GI. For the next, J times K plus J times L. Distribute the J. JK plus JL. Notice the positive. J times positive L plus. All right, this one looks really crazy, but when you use the distributive property, it's not that bad at all. Because what you really have here is A times B plus A times C plus A times D plus A times E plus A times F plus A times G plus A times H plus A times I. You just distribute all the way through. So A times B plus A times C plus A times D plus A times E plus A times F plus A times G plus A times H plus A times I. You distribute all the way through. All right, this next one is a little bit more challenging and advanced, but it's really the same thing. So it looks a little bit more crazy, but I believe you can do it now. So. First, you're going to distribute the A through these two terms. So you distribute A through here and A through there. So you get AC plus AD. All right. And then you distribute the Bs. So then you get B times C plus B times D. So plus BC plus BD. That's all there is to it. You just distribute each one of them through the second term. Notice, because A times B is equal to B times A, that's just a basic rule. Notice then that A plus B times C plus D is the same as C plus D times A plus B. So you could also do it this way, where you start off with C and distribute it through, getting C A plus C B, and then do it with D. DA plus DB, which is the same exact thing as what we have here. All right, so there's a few minutes left in this video. Go ahead and take this time now to pause the screen if you would like to try all these problems, and then you can confirm your answers. I'm going to move through these fairly quickly as not much time remains in this video. Here we go. The first one, 3x, we distribute through. 3x times negative x is negative 3x squared. 3x times 2 is 6x. Alright, that's it. Negative 2w times x plus 8y. So we distribute through. 
negative 2w times x is, well, there's only one way to write that, negative 2wx. And then negative 2w times 8y is negative 16wy. 4 times 52. Well, we're going to break that into 50 plus 2. 4 times 50 is 200. 2 and um, 4 times 2 is 8, so it's 208. 3 times 39. Well, we're going to break this 39 into... Let's do something different. We're going to break this into 30 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. That's 39, right? So first is 30 times 30, or 3 times 30, which is 90, plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 plus 90 is 117. Ah. 27 plus 90. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, negative v times negative v, and then negative v times 3. So negative v times negative v is v squared. The negative times a negative is a positive, right? Negative v times 3 is negative 3v. So that's it for this one. A plus B times C plus D. It doesn't matter which order we do it. We'll just start like normal. A, we're going to distribute it through the C and the D. A times C plus A times D. Do the B next plus B times C plus B times D. Easy, right? This one here. A times A, A squared. A times B, AB. Minus B times A, minus AB. Minus B times B minus b squared. Notice here we can actually cancel these two terms. This is a difference between two perfect squares, which we'll talk about later. a squared minus b squared is the solution to that. 9 times 91. I think that's a 91. It's a 91. 91. Okay, so that splits into 90 and 1. We could do, yeah, that'll work. So 90, 9 times 90 is 810. 9 times 1 is 9, so we have 819. A times B is AB. A times C is AC. That's pretty much it. I hope you got a lot of those right. All right, so I hope you learned something. If a little bit is unclear, just watch the video again. Check out some other sources, get some more practice. But that's basically all there is to it, and you just have to approach it as a very simple thing. And the more you think about how simple it is, the more simple it will become for you. Trust me. So have a nice day. Thanks for watching.